they thought garbage of you big regret because God is still going to elevate you right before their eyes they thought that you were nothing they underestimated you but God is still going to choose you and choose you over and over again in the mighty name of Jesus that is why here when you read in the book of Genesis chapter 50 verse 20 the Bible says you intended harm for me but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done the saving of so many lives so Number one, they might underestimate you, but God overqualifies you in the mighty name of Jesus. You could also see as well, David was dismissed by his own family. He was not even on the lineup of the people to be chosen as king. They just saw him as a mere shepherd, someone who is dirty, someone who smells, someone who shouldn't even be interacting with people whatsoever, but just interacting with animals. They just show, saw him as a boy as a shepherd boy but god saw the heart of a giant god saw someone powerful god saw a king in him in the mighty name of jesus so what god sees in you he sees a king he sees a queen he sees someone so powerful he sees what no human eye can see right now and they will be shocked at the transformation they will be shocked when the spiritual finally manifests in the physical form in the mighty name of jesus God is still going to overqualify you and they are going to witness this day in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Number two, their words cannot stop the plan of God. Their words will not stop the plan of God. That is why the Bible in the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 it says that no weapon formed against you will, uh, will prevail and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. Whether people criticize you, whether people doubt you, whether people block you, they will not succeed. They will not succeed. The plans of the Lord over your life will succeed. You could see with Joseph, they tried by all means to block him, to stop him, to stop the plan of God over his life. But they still failed. They still failed in the mighty name of Jesus. They tried to throw him away. They tried to sell him off. But they still failed. They could not block the plans of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Number three, God will use their dismissal as a set up. They, as he will use their dismissal as a set up. Like I've been mentioning with uh, Joseph, God was using it to be a set up, using it as a stepping stone in the mighty name of Jesus. God is still going to be positioning you for greatness. Where they are going to throw you, where they are going to throw you, they don't know that. You will land in the right hands that is going to lead you to the place where God wants you to be at. You will be transported to the place where God wants you to be at, to where your purpose is at in the mighty name of Jesus. Number four, their regret will be God's testimony. That is why you could also see in the book of Genesis chapter 45 verse 3 the brothers of joseph they were so amazed when they realized who he was they were filled with fear filled with regret things were no longer the same when they realized that he was still alive and he was so great in life even with you people will fear you so much when they realize what you would have become two months from now a year from now five years from now in the mighty name of jesus god will make you a living example of his glory that is why when you read in the book of psalm chapter 23 verse 5 the bible says you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies god wants it to be that way where your enemies are there so that they can see so that they can see you dining so that they can see you enjoying so that they can see you glowing in the mighty name of jesus god is still going to be showing off through you god will be showing off through you through you they will see you being that clean person in the mighty name of jesus for this God is not done with you. You might be garbage before them, but to God, you are a treasured position. You are a special possession in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let anyone make you look down on yourself or believe otherwise about yourself. You are so great. You are so great. God is not done with you. You haven't even reached the final chapter of your life. God is still busy in your life. Your life is going to be great. Your life 
life is going to be a great testimony. Your life is still going to have a great ending. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.